currently Thursday afternoon. Uh, we'll be heading out to the Keys tomorrow, which is Friday, and then Saturday morning is the race. So I'm just doing some final stuff, food prep, going over my gear. Uh, so that's what this video is going to be about. So let's get into it. So I'm just toasting up. Uh, these are gluten-free English muffins. Uh, have some more here. I'm going to toast up. Uh, these are just plant-based sausage. Uh, they're made of like beans and stuff like that. Uh, we got some plant-based burgers. Of course, we got all the chips, pickles. I mean, we got everything, guys. Tons of fruit like uh, bananas I really like, watermelons, uh, pieces, stuff like that. Uh, the last 100 I did, uh, I don't know. It was really hard. I had all the different food. Uh, I ended up just eating pickles and chips. Uh, I think I ate one burger, but I have been training. Uh, my last race, uh, the 100 was uh, last December of 2021. So I have had a lot of time to, you know, go over my food, uh, run with a full stomach, getting used to eating more uh, during the run. So it'll be good. I'll be hitting sandwiches, fruit, I have uh, different stuff like honey. Uh, so, I mean, I'm gonna be packed full of it. Uh, I'll go more into depth uh, the day of the race because you'll be seeing me uh, consuming everything. I'm definitely gonna try to record as much as possible uh, so I can have a really awesome 100 day race video to pop up on YouTube. Um, but definitely, uh, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, I will be posting all day during the race just on Instagram story. Uh, so we're gonna go over gear in a couple of minutes. So I got the English muffins all steamed up. Just what I do with gluten-free English muffins is I just open them and I actually pour water on top and in the middle and then put it on the griddle and it steams them so they're like super soft and nice. This thing about gluten-free bread, you gotta, some of it's not as soft as you want it, but this is like, that's some good stuff right there. Nice and warm. Uh, we got the plant-based sausage. Uh, we got the plant-based burgers are cooking up now. I'm just seasoning up uh, with nutritional yeast, black pepper, garlic, keeping it super simple. Uh, after I flip these burgers, I'm gonna add barbecue sauce to them and then cook them the rest of the way with some barbecue. And I like this 365 organic uh, Kansas City love. Stuff's really good, man. And for the plant-based sausages, I'm also gonna be using the garlic, the pepper, and the nutritional yeast. But instead of barbecue sauce, I'm gonna add this honey, and then I'll flip it with the honey on it so the honey will kind of like seep into it. Makes it taste super good. But after we season them up, barbecue them all up, honey them all up, uh, we're gonna top it and lit them so they melt really good with some Violife. This is mature cheddar, and I also have a smoked provolone Violife as well. So I'll probably do smoked provolone on these and the cheddar on these. Added a little bit of water to the griddle, lit it. It's gonna steam that cheese down. Uh, and then we're gonna finish these off, smooth the barbecue around, flip them over so the barbecue gets really good in there. Add cheese, do the same thing. Uh, plate them up, let them cool down, bag them up, move to the next. up the second round of sandwiches so I just uh, toasted up these these are sourdough breads I put olive oil a little bit of garlic and pepper toasted it up uh, we got a whole bunch of avocados I'm going to since it's gonna have to be made pre-made and like you know put in a cooler I'm not gonna just slice it and put it on now I'm gonna make it more into um, guacamole style so I'm gonna be uh, up with you know some lemon juice or lime juice a little Dijon mustard, some hots, salt and pepper, garlic. And then on two of the sandwiches, we're gonna add uh, Ferrari. This is just egg, it's like a plant-based egg. Uh, seasoned up, of course, with garlic and pepper and salt, uh, nutritional yeast. Uh, we're gonna put those on two of them and the rest are gonna be veggies. So we'll have onions, of course, the avocado, the guacamole, lettuce, be super good. Up, 
Oh, this is the avocado mixture full of seasons I was talking about. All right, we're going to finish off with the gear. Two pairs of Brooks. These are the Glycerin GTSs. Um, I'll be swapping at mile 50, so I can just swap them out. Uh, I've ran in each one of them like a couple times. Uh, I don't really need to. A lot of people like to break them in for a long time. A couple runs, I'm good. Uh, we got an insulated Nathan's 1.6 liter, and then we have uh, one, two, three of these uh, two liters. Those will be good. Um, in the beginning of the race, I will be running with just some handhelds. I'll be running with these two Nathan hydration flasks. These things are so cool. So I got two of them. So it, it's really easy to slip in like this. The cool thing about it is, I mean, you don't have to really hold on to it. I mean, it like fits your hands so good. So I'll be running with that in the beginning, like in the morning from like uh, mile 100 to 90. And then I'll probably maybe swap out to the Nathan. This is their trail vest, but it's super light. Um, it's a seven liter. Put one in the back and then I'll have my, I'll put two soft flasks up front. And uh, we'll be ready to go, guys. This one's nice and thin. Uh, of course, we're going to want some hats. I'll wear my performance tee endurance hat during the day and when nighttime falls i'll be switching into this vest right here this is the nathan vapor air this is my favorite vest uh and then i'll be turning some lights on and i'll be putting this baby on the nathan hat this one's suit all this these designs are all reflective i can put some ice in there a little snacks in them stash bags or stash stash little holes here then i also have this reflective vest if i want to wear it if not uh my son or my wife wear it because they're crewing um and then i'm all i also like putting this underneath my hat like putting my hat on with this under so this will be during the day super reflective it's a nathan bandana it's super stretchy it's really really nice or i can use it for ice put the ice in fold it up round it up put it around my neck either way She'll be on me for the whole day. All right, and for the lights, guys, I'll be doing uh, this Nathan handheld. Super nice. Turn on light in the back. Can blink. It's red. Uh, I think it has like two or three modes where it gets on me. Anything gets super bright. Super comfortable, man. As you can tell, you don't even have to really hold it. And of course, it's we got reflective bands, slap slap bracelets. I mean, you know you gotta love it. This is cool. Nathan's goes around your arm, lights up real bright. Blinker lights, all these Nathan Brink lights we're going to put on the vest. I'll be using, now this is rechargeable, and one of these are also rechargeable. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Uh, and my wife and uh, son are we wearing these at night. Uh, these take batteries. So we're all ready to go. Slap bracelet up. All the main food that I made earlier, but these are stuff I'm going to put my vest like. I got salt sticks. I have, of course... Performance T half and half, so good. Endurance, this is my hydration for the run. Uh, got some honey. So these are gonna be going in my vest. I also have a couple stingers in here. I got a sponge, soak it with water so I can kind of drip it all over my head when I come in when it's super hot. I got first aid kits, got some wipes, you never know. And of course, we got the nut butter in here. And then we have, you know, we got to have this. This right here is the best gel. So fresh feeling. Uh, it's relieve it. Uh, this is, has to be hands down the best thing I've ever used. Uh, you put it on before you run. It keeps you from um, getting super sore. Uh I, I don't know, man. This stuff is amazing. It's all natural. Uh, 
it beats any of the other creams you be putting on for, you know, that kind of deal. Uh, this is something when I do the handheld, I'm not using the vest. This is a Nathan, uh, it's just, it just goes on your waist, you know. You can put, like, your phone and stuff in it. I'm going to pop that baby open. And then uh, we're good to go. So we're going to get into the clothes. Wearing some Nathan socks. And then I have these shirts. These are all the Nathan's gear. Their shirts are so thin and soft and stretchy. They feel just super amazing. Uh, I got the shorts, Nathan shorts. I mean, we're good to go, guys. I mean, it's Thursday night. We're going to be leaving Friday morning. Get there. Runs on Saturday. Um, Ari is going to cut my hair because she just lightened it a couple days ago. But, yeah, it needs to be cut. So, uh, see you guys tomorrow morning. I want to appreciate you guys uh, following my journey. Appreciate you guys watching the videos. Um, but if you're new to the channel or if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. But you guys know what to do. Love life. Live life to its fullest. Baby. And I'll see you tomorrow. We out.